fresh flowers roses and hydrangeas have been my go-to lately just like all white i love it hi guys um and i don't even know if i've intro this vlog but i'm gonna pretend i did because i feel like most of you guys have seen my vlog before but first of all firefly lane is the best show and second of all i'm currently home alone which <laughs> what's new um no i blake is working a little bit later tonight so i ended up just making like a bunch of roasted veggies for dinner and i was sitting there and my food was already kind of cold which doesn't bother me like i know that some people like get bothered by cold food but it really doesn't i don't know it doesn't bother me unless it's like something that needs to be eaten hot like soup but still like i don't know it doesn't bother me but anyways and I was like, you know what? I just kind of want to talk to my peeps. So I whipped out the camera. Um, and yeah, I think that whenever Blake works from home or works late, I'm reminded of like the importance of alone time just because I actually genuinely do enjoy spending a lot of time alone. Not a lot, but I enjoy my alone time. Um, and I think that took me a while to get to that point because I used to be so uncomfortable being alone. Like I even remember when Blake and I first started dating, I was literally like trying not to be clingy, but also like wanted to hang out every night. And I mean, he was just into me. So like, obviously he would hang out every night um also i'm back cooking so i can take my hair down but um and i was just like always wanted to be with him and like then when i did my internship here in chicago i had to get really comfortable spending time alone because i didn't know anyone here and i was working over the summer um but it was the summer after my sophomore year of college so it was like oh wait yeah, it was the summer after my sophomore year of college. So it was just like, not a lot of people had internships like in Chicago that I knew. Um, and I just had to get comfortable spending time alone. And I think getting comfortable spending time alone allows you to figure out what you actually enjoy doing, like find some hobbies and like things. I mean, I guess there's two routes you can go. You can either spend all that time scrolling on your phone or you can find out things that you actually genuinely like to do. And for me, I think I realized, and like obviously you guys know this now because I spend a lot of my time doing this, but that I love to go for walks. I, it takes a little bit for me to get into a show, but if I'm invested, I'm invested, like Firefly Lane. Um, but if I can't get into a show, then I do love watching vlogs. I love watching YouTube videos. I love to read and I love to cook. Um, and I love to bake and things like that, but I think that you can't figure out that stuff if you're constantly inundated with other people, whether that's with friends, whether that's just like with coworkers, like I think you really need that space to figure out like who you are and what you like um, and what your preferences are. Um, and so I've grown to really love alone time um, and I cherish these nights when Blake does work a little bit later. I mean, it's not like I'm like, work late work late but like when he does like i really cherish that time because it's time that i get to spend with <laughs> little old me um and so i encourage you guys to just like take a little bit of time alone and figure out what you like to do and how you like to spend your alone time and, and also just like how you like to spend your downtime and i think another like component of that is putting down your phone and like for example my phone is on the charger right now on airplane mode and like it has been since i finished work and it feels so good to just like put down the phone and like be and figure out how, what you like to do so honestly like i'd love to like i'm always looking to expand my hobbies and like try new things so like tell me what you guys like to do when you're alone um and yeah, I'd love to start freeform journaling a little bit more, um, which is something that I've been meaning to do, but I just haven't. I mean, I journal every morning, but like, I just mean like when I'm alone, like just freeform writing, like not even putting any sort of like musts on it, just like writing. Um, yeah, I think, I think that would really help with my creativity in all honesty. I 
was talking to my boss this morning and she was just talking about creative processes and like or processes and like how basically with my job like we now have time to like really let our creative processes like flourish as social media people and she was like i want you to like take a minute and like figure out what your creative process looks like for you and i was thinking about it and immediately i thought to myself i'm not creative and like i know i'm creative the thing is is like i just told myself for so long that i wasn't creative and that i'm analytical and that like you can't be both and things like that that I like literally defaulted to like, oh, I'm not creative. Even though I am, I know I'm creative. And maybe the fact that I'm also analytical leads me to have a little bit more of a structured creative process than some people. Um, but going back to the original thought, I think that writing could help me to just like open my brain, open my mind to a creative process a little bit. Um, because like also like I'm doing this book right now, this like 369 manifestation book that I do in the mornings. I've showed it to you guys, I think. And one of the exercises was like drawing and just like free drawing. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm a horrible drawer. And it's like, just because I'm bad doesn't mean that I shouldn't do it. Like kids love to draw. And like, I loved to draw as a kid. I loved to color. And like, I just moved away from that stuff. Um, and I don't, really enjoy like drawing and coloring but is it because i won't let myself i don't know maybe i just need to give it a shot but i also like i think that even like doing my vlog is creative in nature and i think i find creativity in styling and like clothes and stuff like that um and yeah i think it would be so fun you guys to be a professional like not even personal stylist because i wouldn't want to get into that realm also like personal stylists are most are the most underrated people ever like that's fucking hard work like manual labor too like you're hauling shit like it's a lot but especially if you're like a personal stylist for like celebrities and stuff is basically what i'm saying but i would love to be like a rework person where you like you go into you have a few clients go into their house you clean out their closet you get them a whole new wardrobe and you just like transform their life like even from a health perspective i think that would be so fun and i can definitely see myself doing that in my future like i see myself doing that even as i'm a mom also fun fact about me i don't know if a lot of you guys know this but i do want to be a younger mom i have older parents and that doesn't mean I want to have kids tomorrow. I think I have told you guys this. I don't remember, but I'm saying it again if I like haven't or if I've said it already. But I have older parents and I think that like that was obviously like in the divine plan for me to have older parents and stuff, but like I just hate the fact that my dad's in his 70s. Like I obviously like my dad's young for his age. He acts very young for his age, but like I just want my kids to or my I guess like I can't control what my kids get with their grandparents but I want my grandkids to be able to like have young grandparents I don't know but anyway and I just think there's something so cute about being a young mom like I follow some of these cute moms on TikTok and they're just so freaking cute and I'm like damn like I love that um but I feel like that's not as common these days like so many people want to be like an older parent and like wait until they're in their 30s to have kids and that's just not i don't know that's not how i feel but anyways i should probably eat my food because it's getting cold but i just wanted to chat so i will see you guys honestly i'll probably see you in the morning i'm just gonna like chill tonight watch some firefly lane i just finished my book the dr stanton book <laughs> my sexy novel um and i'm moving on to a book that's by the same girl as tell me lies my friend megan carp posted it on her instagram story i was like i'll give it a read and also a flicker in the dark the author who wrote that book her second book all the dangerous things comes out tomorrow so you guys like you should get it honestly um and i'm so excited to start that too but yeah okay love you guys i'll see you in the morning Chloe's already ready for after yoga tonight. <laughs> I'm currently reading this and it's so good. 
banana bread in the making. Yummers. Hi guys. I am in such a good mood tonight. I went to yoga this evening and then I came home and I had like prepped banana bread right before um, and I came home and put my banana bread in the oven and honestly like it just feels so good to like I don't know just like be home and just chill and then I got to read for like 30 minutes which was just like the best and now I am prepping some dinner um so I figured I would just talk to you guys while I did it I know I always wear my hair back while I'm prepping dinner but I just am really not in the mood to do that right now so don't think I'm a hypocrite. Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling tonight because Blake is, he said he doesn't know when he's gonna be done with work, so he was like, just eat. Um, so yeah, it's just me, ya girl. And yeah, I'm really excited about this banana bread. I have tried so many different banana breads and this one is just so yummy it's actually emma mcdonald's recipe weirdly enough and it's gluten-free which like i'm not a big gluten-free girl but it's gluten-free and it uses maple syrup instead of sugar which like if i can use maple syrup instead of sugar i'm going to and i'm not kidding you guys it's the best banana bread it's so yummy so i'm gonna have a slice of that for dessert and i can't wait um, but first is dinner, which I'm just going to make some veg and then we actually have some leftover steak, um, from last night. So I'm just going to heat up a little bit of that to go with my dins and then obviously save some for Blake too, but that's kind of the vibe. Also guys, I'm still loving these little spice jars i think they're the cutest thing i just love them loving them um but yeah i feel like i've been really anxious these past couple of days and honestly i just needed like an evening to like go to yoga read my book i'm reading a new book by the author who wrote tell me lies um i'm not quite sure what it's exactly called but it's in my Goodreads, so just keep a look on there. But I'm really enjoying it so far. But I'm not that far in. I'm only like 20% in. Um, and yeah, my goal this year, guys, is to read um, a book a week. So 52 books. And then on top of that, I want to read um, one self-help book a month. So then... That'll be 52 plus 12, which is 64. So that's more books than I read this past year, but I think I can do it. I have faith. Also, these are potatoes. Cause I'm a potato girly. I think potatoes are like one of my favorite foods, guys. I eat them most days. Either potatoes or toast. Like you will catch me every night with one of those. It's the best. Okay. I'm gonna put these guys and I'll see you guys in a little. You guys know me when it's just me, it's veg. You already know. Sheets day. I honestly think clean sheets is the universal love language. I'm waiting for my top sheet to be done. Off to go get a coffee.